Sometimes, you know, when you feel low, don't you just need some love? Somebody just give you some love. You know what I mean? Like, I want a hug. I just want some, some words of encouragement. You ever have that yet? You just need some love sometimes. You know, your you day go through dry. I mean, everybody needs some love. And you know what I mean? What I'm going to say, say is this. When you give some love, it's like, hey, you know, you look nice today. People can't do that no more. People can't just randomly give love. You know, you look nice today. That's sexual harassment. You do something with your hair, he's looking at my hair. That's sexual harassment. That tattoo I see, he's looking at my ass. Because you can see the tattoo I got on the back of my ass. I mean, you can't comment people no more. You can't say good things about people. The next person will say, you know what? You shouldn't let him talk to you like that. That's borderline sexual harassment. Hey, you look great today. Where'd you get that shirt? You looked at your titties. I mean, <laughs> there used to be a time in this country where you said hi to people. I mean, random kindness does not exist. Rap, you know, it's like that's like hearing about Bigfoot. When they find him, he's plastic in a freezer, frozen in a block of ice. I mean, where's the logic in that, baby? I mean, people, it's not, not give love. It's not giving love anymore. I mean, respect is love. I'm, we come down to it, basic respect is love. I mean, if you respect somebody, that's showing them some, some form of love, some respect. I love this person. Without having sex or kissing on him or her, I, I love this person for what they do, you know. That's the respect. That's the form of love, I think, sometimes. Everybody needs to give some love because we all need to get some. I mean, it's like, have you ever been in a situation where it's like everything was gloomy and the person walked up on the back and said, hey, man, how you doing? You ain't know the motherfucker? And you're like, I'm all right. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, keep your head up. Motherfucker, keep on walking. That's random kindness. That's random love. That's random respect, man. I mean, this world is so full of people quick to yell and, and call names and scream that it's like, if I want to yell in a room, what am I expressing? I mean, there is no love anymore. You just, I mean, the only love you get sometimes is from home. And you, how many... How many times have you argued with that same kid that you just gave forty dollars to, and he or she, he fucked it off? You know, you, you gave your you gave your kid some change, and, and he, he or she just completely fucked it off. And you say it's like you know how much money you got left? What money? You know that's that's no love. That's at home. You know. uh we just need to show respect and, and show kindness to people. I mean, I can go through my day and how many how many white guys and black guys mean mug on me all day. I'm walking around smiling on my face. I'm not going to go down like that. I'm going to be trying to be happy. But no. Can't be happy when people walk around You have to check out counter and shit, you know. It can be a guy or a girl. And this motherfucker's having an attitude. It's attitude day for Jimmy or Sarah or somebody. And um that be sixteen ninety five. Here's a twenty. Thank you. Remember one time my boss <laughs> She said uh, she was going to um, get some coffee. I'm not going to say Starbucks. And she was at the coffee place. And, you know, the lady threw her a change. Snatched a little 50. You got anything smaller? And threw her her change. She's like, I want my money back. Then I, I hope I tell the story right. I don't know if my boss watched my show or not. So she's like, I want my money back. 
have to get my manager. I want my money back now. You took my money. You threw my change up in my face like I, you know, no. I demand, I'm paying for a service here. I need some respect or I want my money back. Manager comes out. What's the problem? This, this girl just throws my change at me. So, I want all my I want my money back. I don't even I don't even want this coffee. I want my money back. Well, uh, well, uh, I guess they'd have never had someone return a cup of coffee. It took them thirty minutes to get this lady her change back. The register is right there. There was no love in that whole exchange. You're, you're buying a cup of coffee, you give the lady a 50, you got anything smaller? And throws the change at you when you say no. She was right. People who have problems need to leave their problems at home. And show some love while you're at work. People don't have time for your stress your drama and your bullshit. Show some love. We all need some love. And my boss, she is more than generous. She broke a 50 in that motherfucker. That girl had at least a five dollar tip coming for that five dollar cup of coffee. And that's how my boss is. If she said, thank you ma'am, I see you in here, come back again. Have a couple coupons. She would have got broke down. Five dollar tip was pretty good. Considering you only get paid like seven, eight dollars an hour working in them coffee places, unless you're the barista. <laughs> you know, um, the lack of respect in this world is big time. The lack of love is bigger. Um, we need to start showing love and respect to ourselves. And hopefully, you know, when you're having a bad day, don't pass it on, baby. Keep your bad day, keep your bad feelings, keep your bad attitudes at home. Show some love. Show some respect for somebody else. If you're not feeling good, don't make somebody else feel bad. Misery loves company. If I'm feeling like shit today, and everything I touch turns gloomy, I'm going to keep my hands in my fucking pocket. I didn't want to cuss. They're trying to hold back cussing. These videos with language on them. There's no room for over excessive language. But sometimes, sometimes, cussing is the only way you can get a point across. Hardhead people don't hear. And on the way home, why don't you just relax today? Hardhead, so hardhead people hear somebody telling them what to fucking do. A hard-headed person hears somebody, how the hell are you going to tell me to fucking relax? Relax for what? Hard-head people do that. That's how hard-head people relax. They relax by causing more strain and drama. Because they feel better when you feel just as shitty as they do. And that's all I can say today on this video. And you know what I'm going to say next. Yep. You know. You know exactly what I'm going to say. If I don't say this in at least 75% of my videos, then what am I going to say? When I'm at YouTube jail, I don't say, and you've been jailed. YouTube jail, I had the music playing in the background. I really had a gimmick going there. So, thank you everybody. And you've been tubed. I told y'all I was going to say it. People don't think I'm gonna say that. I say it almost. I try to say it almost every time. I 